Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm fine. <laughs> uh, what's the hot topic today? What's the discussion? I just want to make another video, another YouTube video. Uh, today here in Puerto Rico, we're going to have, uh, they're going to have what you call a um, parade of uh, demonstrate, demonstrating, you know, so it's, it's going to be like a protesting the um, killing of uh, George Floyd in America. So I don't know what time they're starting, but uh, actually I was thinking I'm going, you know, <laughs> take my camera and go, but I don't know, I, I have to check. I think they're gonna try to walk to the American Embassy, you know, and uh, protest there. But I don't have much information on it, so maybe when I'm finished with this video, I'll check it out. Maybe I can give, bring you some footage. Anyway, uh, but it's still dominating the news, you know. Um, something that uh, is gonna make a big change hopefully in this world we don't know yet but uh, i'm hoping that it will we can only hope that uh, something will come out of this you know uh, that this could be a epic change <laughs> yes uh, complication of uh, american uh, of the American society of inequality. Inequality. Wow. Yeah. I wish I could uh, explain to some um, the little knowledge that I have to some uh, younger people or some people who doesn't um, who haven't been around as long as I have. <laughs> so. Well, maybe I can try, you know, and uh, give you an example of um, what I think from my perspective, you know, because when you look at the world today, it's, it's changing. We have a new generation coming up, young generation, and they are completely different to us. Uh, they have their own uh, focus, and uh, it's not... Uh, nothing that we because of the um, new technology and the world changing so fast it's nothing similar to what we've had in the past or accustomed to in the past so um, let me do this before the, i'm gonna try to put this on here this is my okay it helps my neck and everything. I usually sleep in this sometimes, not all the time, but it's good for uh, pushing your neck. You don't get any neck pains. Okay, let me see. This is the center here. Center, yes. Okay, let's discuss about, have a discussion about the um, American society and the uh, inequality that exists there. The, um, the difficult thing about it is that, you know, it's, it's something that uh, it's not difficult to understand. Uh, matter of fact, for me, it's easy to understand because I follow the news. I've been following the news. I've been always, from a young person, I've been doing this. So I've been educating myself, and that's uh, the problem that we have in society today, that our young, our youths are not being uh, taught the history uh, of our, our race. Um, they don't uh, really understand. <laughs> they, they, they know, in a way, some of us, what it is to be black, but they don't know or they don't understand what uh, what it took, you know, <laughs> what it took to get us this far, and uh, why we are still in this predicament today. 
Anyway, this is the way I see it, and I'm gonna try. Uh, like I say, I'm not a uh, articulate type of um, scholar. I cannot explain things in uh, uh, what you call uh, express myself in a way that people would understand me that well um, but I can try you know because uh, they have some people gifted in that they have people who can speak well who can present themselves well <laughs> but I never went to a university so <laughs> uh, but I have common sense and uh, I would trump that over anything any day because I've seen some high educated people that doesn't have common sense and uh, one of it one of them today is the president of america <laughs> that guy is but anyway uh he's rich <laughs> so maybe sometimes it's better to you know just be somebody than nobody uh yeah okay in america we have this is america okay no. In America, you have, I would say, three uh, communities, three societies. And why I say three societies? Because there's a left wing, there's a right wing, and there's a center. Okay, center. Right? So we got left, right, center. And uh, left is what they call themselves and liberals uh, and they're mostly democratic and you have to your right you have the um, right and extreme right which you call the uh, republicans and in the center <laughs> you have the little abode you know you have the i call them the middle class okay that is middle class society right in the middle so you got the left right and the center and why i call them middle class is because they're the ones that really get to decide what happens in america they're the ones and and don't uh, be fooled half of the american people right now of the american population is middle class half of the population you can look it up google whatever it's their middle class half of them and uh, those people um, makes up the uh, majority of uh, they have more uh, control right of a lot of things because they get to decide because you have the left and the left extreme, you have the right and the right extremes, and then you have the center, okay? And uh, the, the, the right, the people on the right, which is the uh, conservatives, they, um, they, all, they are all about conserv conserving, conserving and uh, um, keeping their old habits and their uh, agendas that they had for many many years ago they don't want to change anything and then you have on the left we call the liberals uh, which um, they are more um, into like I would describe them as they, they wouldn't care less they don't care less they just want to be exist and coexist with uh, the masses okay so we are, then you have the center, which uh, like I said, is the middle class, but they are a little a boat. So they have half a boat. And, and they get to be the ones who really decide when there's an election, uh, who uh, wins, okay? Because the right or the left, right? It's half, it's, it, 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 it's divided. Right, and it's divided proportionally, uh, you know, in different states, and you have uh, red and blue on the other side. So the, the, we we're looking at America as a it's a divided country. It's not like a communist country where what a common 
capitalism defies uh, authority, you know. And uh, the system that they have in America is based on politics. Politics is what really controls everything. And that's why it's very difficult that uh, our race, my race, has uh, been uh, or, uh, has been so um, dominated by these people because we are a minority in a society that really doesn't care for us, doesn't want us. And they would sit today, probably doesn't need us. <laughs> so it, it, it's a little, you know, more complicated than that. But it's, on the other hand, it's really not, you know, because if you have common sense and you, uh, if you're a person that look at the news and listen to both left and right, then you'll get two different perspectives. Because if you're listening to, CNN news, which is the, for the left, and you're listening to the uh, Fox news, which is on the right, you have two different type of uh, reporting. And uh, you would wonder, well, how come Fox is leading? <laughs> well, that should tell you exactly why. Because, right? There are more people, and that's why I made a statement, more than half of American people that have the, um, these uh, extreme uh, um, ideology, you know, and they are center, center right. And uh, that's why, uh, and, they listen in, and they listen to Fox News. And then you have the liberals, which is uh, blacks and color and Hispanics and all that. That's on the left, right? And most of the, what you call the, the rich people, the celebrities, they're on the left. And, uh, and they would listen mostly to CNN. So if you ask a question, well, who has the best news? <laughs> If you really want the true news, the real news, then you have to listen to CNN, <laughs> right? Because, right, um, CNN still have a more balanced, you know, uh, way of reporting than Fox News, which is on the other side, because they are like totally right wing, you know. They can't see anything left. <laughs> it's always right, right, right. Right and extreme right. And, and, and that's what makes the politics in America so complicated. And, that why, and that's why it would never, ever, in my opinion, change. You know, this thing what happened in, with Mr. George Floyd is, 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 is hot for now. And um, we may make some progress. But the way I see it, in the next month or two down the road, everything's going to start dying down and we're back to the same old thing again. Because the structure, the system that is set up completely against, right, a uh, uh, minority, you know, it, 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 it's, a, it's a system that is uh, against, uh, minority and uh, it, it, how can I describe that it, it's a, a social inequality type of system so um, and it's fueled right by the, uh, the, 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 the extreme right they control that and like I said extreme right and part of the center which means that uh, whatever gets politically uh, framed in a justice system is more influence, will have for sure a more uh, right-wing influence. 
a more conservative influence. And the laws and all of those things is a design is completely against, right, uh, unity. It, it, it's like, uh, it's more to protect them, okay? So, then you will wonder, well, how come, <laughs> how come then the left is not uh, really, you know, how come we do have a uh, left uh, wing uh, presidents? Well, because somehow it's try the center decides that the center decides when it's it, 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 it's to go left or to right or to go right and that's why i personally will blame the center for what's happening right now in america you know with the president with everything because uh, they elected a president they elected and it's not the right elected him because he came from the right he's a republican he came from the right but it's the center who moved more to the right that give him the uh, presidency. And, uh, and it's not like they didn't know because all through his campaign, um, President Trump has uh, shown, he, he has demonstrated that he is a racist. He, in many, many uh, words uh, that comes out of his mouth, uh, in his speeches, he you saw him. He 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 was not for equality, He's, you know. And and this is something that everybody knew, left, right, center knew. And he himself probably will tell you today he was surprised that he won. Okay, because <laughs> you know, American society is is diverse in a way. But in another way, it's complicated because of the uh, system, okay? <laughs> because of the system. And uh, unless the system changes, nothing would ever change in America. And that's why I, I, I said, I said it in the video before, that uh, I don't see there's gonna be any real, really, real change from this. You know, uh, they're gonna continue with their, um, because the policies doesn't change. If the policies change, they may, but the policy doesn't change. You know, uh, why would you make a law that gives complete authority to uh, a policeman? In other words, uh, this the, the the justice system is set up in a way that it it completely protects the 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 the, the, the organization, okay? Because a policeman can go out and he could do a job, right? And if he knows that there is severe consequences if he makes he do something wrong then he would think twice right but if he knows that the law is going to protect him then it's free for all right and he has no fear and 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 that's the difference uh, with the system is the is the judicial system that america has that uh, really really need to change and what i mean completely right and now we get back to who will be able to change that well <laughs> it's not like the left is going to say yeah we're going to change it because they cannot change it they need the center it's not like the right is going to say yes um, we're going to we don't want to change it but we want to make it even more difficult and that depends again on the center because where the center goes, the politic goes. All right, it's like that. And the center, you know, that's, that's where he chokes you. <laughs> they have a grip on the political system in America. And that's, they are the biggest, you know, <laughs> that's why all presidents, they try to be center left. <laughs> 
if they are, you know, if they are left, but they try to go to the center. And if they right, they all try to meet in the center. Because in the center is what decides the outcome of the uh, political presidency or whatever. And so they knew, they knew. It's not uh, anything new. They knew who they was electing. Uh, they knew he was a racist. They knew he had a self uh, type of, uh, um, what you call a selfish personality, which this selfish type of personality comes from the right. And uh, mostly from the right, I must say. And uh, they are decides, they decide, you know, who they want to be president. And of course, they would want to put somebody who they could, who they could, uh, they know is going to carry out or uh, do their uh, their views or have their views, and will do what they want him to do. And uh, which is represent them and their views. So unless you you can have that's why before uh, Donald Trump we had reasonable presidents in America. We had good presidents, uh, but Donald Trump will go down in history as the worst <laughs> by far president that America ever had and uh, that's because the guy has demonstrated that he does not have the capacity he does not he's lacked the capacity to be the president of a great nation like America he does not have it he's too uh, um, radical uh, right wing he is too uh, self uh selfish in, in his, his decisions and everything he uh, he 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 doesn't know how to unite 